Hi everyone, Mr. Luke here. Today we're going to look at how to take risks in photography um, and how to really push the boundaries. I'm going to show you a few examples of some images um, and how we can make our photos stand out from the rest. Everyone that has a mobile phone these days is a photographer. So we want to take the next steps to really make our photos stand out. I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, so the rule of thirds is a really good technique to use when thinking about composition and focal point. So the photo, we, we use these imaginary lines, uh, we divide them up into thirds horizontally, horizontally and vertically. And you think about the focal point will be at these cross sections here. Um, it really draws the eye into the composition and makes for a really effective photo. Um, as you can see here, the main focal point is the subject here um, and it's balanced evenly because they're looking out. Here we can see the rule of thirds in effect on this side um, and you have that strong line there, but the main focal point is at this cross section. And here we don't have the imaginary lines, but if we draw them here, we can see the main focal point is at that cross section there. Now, this is great, but once we know the rules, we can break the rules. Here's an image of mine where we're not following the rules of thirds. So the focal point is in the center here and it makes for an impactful image and it's kind of breaking the rules, but it's impactful and it's something that we can do to push the boundaries of photography. Here's an example here where the main focal point is right in the center, but with nice framing here, we can see the eye is drawn to the center and it's breaking the rule of thirds, but it's a very effective image. And it's something that we can look for to make our photos stand out. Cropping is a really good technique to consider when you're taking your photos and post-production if, if needed as well. So a photo editor like Photopea, um, can be a way to crop the photos to draw your eye onto the main focal subject um, and get any, rid of any unnecessary um, features. So you can see here, this has been cropped. So the tree is, is following the rule of thirds, but it works because it's got rid of all this unnecessary sky that we don't really need. It crops it nice and tightly and makes it a more effective photo. Here we can see this photo of the subject here is originally cropped out, uh, like the person stepped back a bit and the camera's a bit further back. But when, when we've cropped it, we've got more of an effective photo and it makes a more impactful image. Here we have, it's more of an abstract image of a giraffe, which probably originally was a full face photo, but with cropping, we can follow the rule of thirds and you can make a nice abstract image and it kind of stands out. Architecture can be really effective when you crop in um, and you look for good use of color. Um, here we have the strong geometric shapes, which is a really good photographic element to make your photo stand out from the rest. Um, if this was shot further back, it may not be as impactful, but because you've got the nice close crop, you've got strong linear elements, a big burst of color, and it makes for an interesting image. Here we have the same, we have the strong burst of yellow, and this is like a train station or a mall or something, but because it's cropped in, it's a really effective image and it, it makes it stand out. And the same here, strong color, strong use of lines, if it was shot further back, probably not effective. Think about cropping if you're looking at architecture. People are always interesting in photos. Uh, humans are drawn to other humans and it makes for a more relatable image. So this image here, without the subject, is probably not an interesting image. But as we have the human subject involved, 
it brings a bit of emotion in. So it's a way to make your photo stand out and make it more interesting. Here, this photo is a little bit blurred, but this is just people going about their daily life. It's a documentary of the surroundings around us. Um, and it's something to consider. Um, I wouldn't be going out taking photos of strangers up close, but it makes for a, a, an interesting image on daily life and something to make your photo stand out because every photo is unique and interesting. This one here is a good use of the human element. You have the lady here on the phone and you have the contrasting image. So everything in this photo has been considered and it was probably being cropped accordingly, but you're almost telling a story between the image here and the main subject. So think about everything in your photo and remove anything unnecessary. Reflections are a really good way to um, offer a new perspective on imagery. So this is quite a clever photo, right? Um, you have the shoes here, which have been set up, and then you also have the reflections here and it's a flip perspective and you get the ripple effect, which makes a really interesting image. So reflections are something that um, offer uh, a new perspective and breaks the rules of imagery. Here again, you have the upside down flip perspective and you don't really need the full frame here. This has probably been, been cropped as well, but with the strong highlights and shadows, with the reflection, it makes for an interesting image. Um, it's taking a risk and it's pushing the boundaries of the technology. This one here as well, you have um, the, the rough bricks here and then the strong, sturdy architectural image. Um, with the reflection, it makes it an interesting photo um, and something different. So you want people to look twice at your photo and question what's going on. So thinking about everything in the frame and considering how you can make people look at your photos. You want them to stand out. Framing is a really good technique to make your photos draw focus. So here you've got your main subject, but you've got this interesting framing here from the train door that really makes the photo stand out. This one here is not following the rule of thirds, but it makes for a nice, interesting subject. And sometimes you can break the rules to set yourself differently from other images. This is amazing framing. You have the, the blurred chain here, which would be very, pretty close to the camera um, because it's blurred, but then you have this strong framing here, um, which really draws your focus in on the people and it makes for an interesting image. Here we have a landscape and with the extra framing here from the fence, it just draws your eye into the main focal point. So instead of getting lost up here with the highlights and the cloud, it makes for an interesting image, it adds depth. And it's something that you should consider when taking photos because it makes it interesting. It's setting yourself differently from other photos. Okay, so shadows and light can play an important role in making your images stand out. Um, you can see here, we're pushing the boundaries with the dark silhouette with the strong light, but it gives us um, some strong linear elements and it really draws your eye into the main subject. Um, so when you're out taking photos, think about where you're positioned and how you can make your photos different. Here we have one that actually I took a few weeks ago and it was kind of a mistake, but I was interested in this ripple effect with the, the shadows and light. And I was actually taking a photo of the staircase here, but it just happened that uh, someone walked past um, and it just seemed to, it worked out quite well. So a bit of luck was involved, but you can see how the, the shadows and the light make for a really interesting image. So um, thinking about composition and maybe anticipating things that may happen um, here again, this is a bit similar. This is similar to this one here. So it's a really good strong contrast between the highlights and the shadows. Um, and you have the human element here, which makes it really, really interesting. 
Um, so think about contrast, shadows and light when taking photos. Beauty in the mundane is an interesting concept where you look at things that are kind of just standard everyday objects like cabbages, um, but with the right composition and uh, light skills, or sorry, color skills, you can make it really stand out. Um, so here we can see it's just the cabbages, but the green contrasts really well with the pink. And you have a strong framing composition here, which we've talked about before, but it makes it quite an interesting photo. So something that might be mundane can be really interesting in breaking the rules and taking risks in photography. Here we have um, this composition would be something that you'd see in Bucharest um, quite easily. Um, and it's just something that you would walk past and you probably wouldn't pay attention to. But with the use of shadows here and light and the nice color and the phone here, it makes for an interesting image. So um, something that might be mundane with good techniques can look quite interesting. So the strong use of shadows and light and the color makes for an interesting photo. Now, in terms of breaking the rules, going out of focus is a really good technique to make an interesting image. So if you've got a camera with a lens that you can adjust the focus, um, look at things differently through going out of focus and seeing what images you can come up with. This makes for a really interesting photo um, and it's breaking all the rules of photography, but um, it stands out. It makes you look twice. You've got the human element here as well. Um, strong use of shadows and the focus just makes it really interesting. Here we have um, out of focus again, but the strong use of light um, makes for a really interesting photo. Um, and you've just got to think about certain things that you can do that make your photo stand out from the rest. So what techniques can you do? How can you change things to make people look at your photos um, and see them as more interesting um, compositions? Photopair is a really good resource um, online that I would be using um, just to if you're, you're mixing um, shadows and light and color, you want to bring them out a bit more with photo editing. So you can increase the contrast, um, saturate the colors, increase the, the highlights or the shadows, but it's something that won't take long, but I would play around with your images in Photopea just for five minutes or so, just to really boost your photos and make them stand out even more. So in summary, um, following the rule of thirds is a good guide um, for strong compositions and uh, drawing attention to your main subject. But once you know this rule, you can break this rule. So breaking the rule of thirds can also make for interesting images. So it gives you a bit of choice into how you want to um, um, set your photos. Cropping can help with this. Um, and cropping in general uh, makes your photos have greater impact. So um, it gives you the choice in how you want to make your composition. Um, and going up close is usually better because it adds more interest into the photo. And with architecture, cropping really makes nice abstract images um, and really brings out the strong linear elements, um, really pushes the boundaries of photography. People are interesting. Um, people are drawn to the human element in photos. So think about that when you're taking images and include a human subject if you can, because it's something relatable and um, it makes images um, stand out. Reflections offer a new perspective. It breaks the rules of photography and it makes things more interesting and you can get some uh, really, um, really nice photos um, and it makes them stand out. Framing um, really draws your focus to what you want to do. So thinking about everything in your frame and framing accordingly, a bit like the chain one that I showed earlier, make for really interesting images. So it's something that you want to consider um, when taking your shots. Um, it makes, makes your photos stand out more. Um, shadows are everywhere. So you can even do this indoors with your curtains when on a sunny day. You can move things around. 
um, and outdoors, obviously. So think about to add depth and draw focus. Think about shadows and light and how you can use that to your advantage. Um, finding beauty in the mundane really um, adds an interesting aspect to your images. Um, so think about that with strong technical um, aspects. You can make things that are just everyday objects into um, interesting images. Um, and it's a good way to take risks in photography and make your photos stand out. And speaking of risks, going out of focus is an interesting concept that can make people look at your photos twice or spend a bit of extra time um, because people are interested in decoding what um, the image is. And it gives um, your photos more interest and it makes them really stand out. It's breaking the rules, it makes them stand out and it really um, pushes the medium um, so happy um, snapping. Um, think about things that you can do that other people aren't doing at the moment um, and have fun with that. Okay, bye for now.